in my very long experience of music, which dates back more than 61 years now, there are a few events that I constantly think of as being exceptional experiences that never leave the memory, events that had a tremendously important influence on my life. One of those very extraordinary events was in December 1994, when I attended a performance of Verdi's La Traviata at the Royal Opera House Covent Garden. I had already seen Angela Gheorghiu before singing in La Boheme the role of Mimi. As everybody knows, the performance that she gave of Violetta at the Royal Opera House Covent Garden that year was one of the most sensational experiences in the memories of many people like myself who were astonished by what they heard and what they saw. I had the wonderful experience of interviewing Angela shortly after that for a radio programme. It was a captivating experience all that time ago, both to meet her and also to realise what an extraordinarily intelligent and inspired artist I was speaking with. Not only a soprano of extraordinary technical accomplishment and virtuosity of an extremely rare degree, but also an artist of deep intelligence, deep awareness and profound sensitivity. Over the years, I followed her career wherever it was possible to do so and whenever it was possible to do so. I had the wonderful privilege of collaborating with Angela on the book which is launching in Romania tonight, which we launched here in England in October 2018. Angela Gheorghiu, A Life for Art. A fantastic privilege and honour for me to work with this incredible artist and wonderful human being on that book. And therefore, it's particularly of great pleasure to me to be able to send my greeting to you all. I wish I could be with you, sadly, for reasons that are beyond my control. I cannot. But particularly, it means a lot to me that Angela's book is launching tonight in her own country, in Romania, a country that I visited in 1973 a country of beauty, a country of magic, seeing extraordinary architecture. And for me, as an adolescent young man, seeing wonderful-looking girls, 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 Romanian girls everywhere. Well, about 21 years later, I met this extraordinary Romanian lady, Angeli Gheorghiu. And it is one of the greatest joys of my life to know her and one of the most wonderful privileges to be involved with one of the very greatest artists in the entire history of classical music performance. And I send to Angela and to all of you my very warmest greetings for the launch of her book tonight. 